Thanks for continuing on. Here, we're going to continue the discussion with asset publication, and we're going to talk about how to publish an asset locally. And we'll also touch upon what files make up an asset itself. If we flip back over to Inventor, I'm going to go through asset creation again. Here, I'm going to choose to import model again, and I'm going to use the trusty bench that we've used previously. Note that this is in my demos file, and my project scope is not the same. As such, I will get a warning message, and I'm going to hit yes to that for now. I'm going to be publishing this locally. I will be warned that the active document needs to be saved. I'm going to hit yes to that. And then instead of publishing to the cloud or vault, I'm just going to leave the local designation. I'm going to hit OK to this, and it's going to save it in my user assets directory. As you see, I have a number of assets saved there already. Once that is complete, I will go ahead and close out. Note we won't be using Vault for this, but we can go to the local path. I've copied that to my clipboard for simplicity. I'm going to dump that into the Start menu, which will open up the folder containing the asset. The asset directory itself has a part, as you may expect, However, it has a number of other files. The DWF file is the drawing utilized by Inventor, and there's also a PNG file. If we open that, that is a portable network graphics file. That file util is utilized to show the thumbnail wherever applicable. If we go back to this folder, you also note that there is a 2D folder. From there, I have a DWG file. This DWG file is what is utilized by AutoCAD when referencing this asset. 